So welcome to the second game of the Farmers League series, Freddy Novich against Food Please. And the first game was on Nomad, where Freddy Novich had a quite obvious victory. And the second game, interestingly, is on Land Nomad. And again, we have a very close TC placement by both of them players and both spotting these placements immediately right away they are aware that the opponent is close and in comparison to normal nomad we don't have water so yeah in the beginning the, the main food source is ibex boar um, not sure if there are too many berry bushes on, on that nomad actually i, I don't see berry bushes at all. So, yeah, this is the main eco there. Um, this boar playing a huge role there. Um, I mean, of course, we have boars here and here for each of the player, but big potential for boar laming there uh, because without boars and also without ibex, you don't have any food source. So, you see immediately laming the boar. Um, Freddy you know it wanted to go as well for this board and um, I'm sure the naming will start now I mean the board were not the, the prettiest uh, food piece did better in the last games but at least he didn't lose the villager I mean almost he did but anyway Freddy should consider to go to, to uh, the boar hunt as well immediate, immediately because um, otherwise it could be too late as we see Can here the sneaky village of food piece going to lame the ibex and these ibex are playing a big role as I said because they could be lured into the TC uh -huh. and then they are a good food source uh -huh. um, but being lame they are not worth too much because uh, rotting away uh, in the middle of the sun there. Freddy Witch now going for the second boar, being a little bit late by the Ibex it seems. Hopefully he's not losing this villager. Uh, is he losing the villager? Uh, almost. So well done here. Um, here a little bit uh, poking around two villagers. Uh, this will certainly try to lure this village of Freddy into his TC. And also, Footy is now going for the next boar there. Yeah. And um, both players solely going on, on food right now. I'm not sure about build orders in that moment at all. I think at some point you have to go uh, to wood, I guess, um, because you need to place farms as well. Anyway, regarding the civilizations, we have the Spanish on Food Pleaser's side and the Saracens on Fredinovich's side. And this matchup is quite interesting um, because we have the Saracens uh, being quite decent in Fast Castle Age timing. Ah! <laughs> okay, maybe Food Please before luring into uh, luring in the, the very far wars, he should consider to See? just get loom instead um, which he has done so might be that the second lure uh, is now um, successful ready to which going for the next board ah, luckily he is not losing this village as well so still we have a uh, villager chase here um, interestingly both of them are scouting with this lure and do we see Ah, we have the, the goose again uh, blocking the, the, the boar, uh, which is a quite realistic scenario. So now the very far boar is um, being lured in, and we potentially see the first balls of food piece, which might be a good move there because it confines your opponent's base, and he might have uh, the feeling that he has not all the, the freedom of movement. Regarding resources, um, 
Fredin, which has two close gold locations. Food pleases gold is far away, more far away. Um, also, stone is not too close to food please base. And uh, Fredino, which has at least a back stone there. See? He should. I'm not Pressa. sure if you should really mill this location, See? but it's not very efficient. Maybe you should have lured uh, the Ibex uh, into the TC first before killing it. Anyway, not much things are happening right now. Um, less laming than I expected. I expected at least a palisade wall here. My and also, it seems like both players have quite similar build orders. I mean, they are going on food only for a very long uh, period of time and then uh, now only going to wood with a small number of villages. So, yeah, Food Piece did a good job there in uh, denying at least one more. I'm not sure about the second. And um, of Fredinovic. Fredinovic didn't, so it might be that Food Piece has the edge there regarding uh, food income. And he is just one food away from clicking up if he's not producing an additional village here. So, in this matchup, it might be very strong to click as fast as possible to the next age and to be able to be the first to military units or uh, towers, watchtowers. Um, now we see a very far more lure. I'm ho I hope he is not moving into the DC just to this mill. We'll see. But I like the activity of food piece there. Going for as much boards as possible, and Fredino, which from my point of view was a little bit too passive regarding the board ring activities. Food is, <laughs> is really considering the far away lure. Um, so I'm not sure why he is not just uh, now, now going with the <laughs> with the uh, with the paddy goose, but even the paddy goose is not. Not working and now, even losing this boar. Um, so, this is a disaster for a uh, food piece. Um, Presta. Now he's going at least with this villager to his boar. Monday? At least, I suppose. And now, I mean, well, I understand why you want to have it underneath the TC, but at least for this moment, it would have made more sense to just lure it to your mill. Servidores. Both players go now on to gold at the same time. And interestingly, Fredinovich is faster to the next age. Of course, Food Beast now has more villages, but he originally had more um, yeah, potential to get earlier to feudal than uh, Freddy, but he didn't. So we will see what Freddy will do. He's not on stone yet. Um, so. I see a potential archery rage, which uh, Freddy which likes quite a lot, into some archers to deny as much um, of the TC surrounding place as possible. Hoopy is now even going for another boar. I lost the count yet, but um, this might be the sixth or the seventh. So very nicely done. If he's not Monday? losing this villager. Uh, we'll see if a paddy goose is placed, but it seems like he's not killing it with the CC. This is nice. So, we see archery raid at the market, and um, we have a market at the archery range. I mean, he could have placed a blacksmith instead, which might have made more sense, but anyway, with this mix up and the Saracen market bonus, he could click up to castle right away, go for some archers at the same time, and um, this is a very strong move actually. Um, I also like the wall here of Freddy which he could just easily wall it here to close this uh, gap and deny uh, aggression potential by, by food please. And uh, he will have archers 
and um, food police at the same time also going to Castle Edge, but without any military building. So you will not be able to build anything in, in defense, at least in the first place. Also, he is not having too much wood, so he is not even able to immediately produce uh, a defensive archer bridge. So Freddy doing the right thing, just going out for the resources. Would be wants to drop an aggressive castle. And, um, this might be just tonight if Freddy has enough archers or later on crossbowmen. Um, maybe with an addition of a, of a watchtower mm -hmm. if he wants to. And also Freddy is now on stone, so he could easily place a defensive watchtower. I'm not sure if this uh, forward cast drop by Foodies will be successful. Freddy, I'm not sure if he knows about uh, the uh, resources of Foodies. He knows the stone there. I'm not sure if he's aware that Foodies already is mining it. But unfortunately, ah, okay, Freddy wants to place a forward castle. And Foodies not having the resources yet. Um, of course, he could buy easily um, 100 stone. But together with these archers, um, the forward castle of Freddy, which might be might be successful there. I don't see a potential for, for food piece to deny it. Um, especially if these archers come into play. We have a scout here. Nicely done, actually, by food piece. Um, but it seems like Fredin which I'm uh, not sure. I mean, we have 30 villagers against 40. Ah, it's close. Uh, okay, Freddy Witch losing some villagers there. Uh, now being 23 villagers to 28 uh, of food piece. Uh, ah, quite unfortunate by this player because he had a very, very nice strategy. Uh -huh. This scout was a good choice by, by food piece there because he denied the archers to, to come into play. And um, now we have two castles shooting us at each other. I mean, this castle should maybe rather shoot at the TC um, to finally kill it at least. But anyway, um, now Footpiece suddenly being ahead in villager numbers and having the stable to potentially build some knights as well, which would be strong because on land nomad you always have scattered resources. And um, if Footpiece is using his scout properly, he might find just this stone spot very easily. I mean, Freddy is doing the right thing, building a TC right now in this goal. Very, very good to deny any potential ah, conquistador raids. I, I forgot that Footpiece is Spanish. Of course, conquistadors make sense, um, even though they are produced underneath. Castle fire, which we should not forget there, because the castles might shoot once at the conquistador, and he's almost dead, as we see here. And then a few skirmisher shots might be enough to just kill this conquistador. And um, he's now moving out. Um, Freddy, which booming. More than food, please. But um, at least he's not producing military units. It seems like he's he's moving. And this conquistador will, will be very pesky. You see, he's not even in the reach of the TC. So they have both the same range, so he can just be placed here and shoot at the villagers without being any target for the, the, the TC arrows. So uh, skirmishes makes sense here. Otherwise, this conquistador will be a pesk. And yeah, we, we don't see the crazy conquistador production yet. Uh, because he has not having he's not having the eco so far, but Predinovich should 
start to produce skirmishes. Because otherwise, he will just face very annoying conquistadors, um, which we see right now. He has to just draw his villagers back. And... Well, okay, a Mameluke. But is. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if Mamaduke is the, the right choice here. You don't need a quickly moving unit, you need rather a defensive one. And don't... I'm not sure. Freddy, you should not give up that easily. I mean, don't chase this conquistador with your, your villagers. This does not make sense. You could just expand a little bit, maybe. And uh, maybe uh, secret is here. Um, I'm not too sure about the Mavenuke choice. Of course, it's 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 strong, but as we see, the Mavenukes are. It seems like it, it seems like they are they are not as fast as uh, the conquistadors, and this means if food piece is microing them properly, uh, Freddy will not have any any chance. Villager wise. Not that even, but almost. Uh, it's 42-36. And um, yeah, it seems like Freddy is making. Footy's on the other side, having three TCs. So he, he is moving ahead. And they, uh, once this conquistador uh, numbers reach a critical mass. They will be unstoppable even for questionable Mamelukes. But we will see. Maybe Freddy is having a decent plan, which I know yet, at least. I mean, villager wise, um, he's not having too much of a disadvantage because also Food Piece is not having the, the food equal to sustain constant villager production by all the three of the TCs and uh, yeah we will see how Mamelux are doing against uh, Conquistadors I mean, Mamelux with three range and Conquistadors with six this is the main difference there um, I would like by one of the players a uh, uh, C12 job with a single ramp being placed um, to be ahead of this castle war. Uh, which it seems like this is winning. But anyway, right now we see uh, pesky villagers of Freddy uh, escaping. So he will go for the secret TC, which I like. And, uh, Still going for the Mamelukes. And um, now going for a raid, which I like a lot. Um, he has not spotted the gold, unfortunately, because this would be six dead villages. But I like this counter raid there. Um, um, being like, stuck in this location, which I don't really understand why. And now being underneath the TC. And at the same time, we have. Um, yeah, Fredinovich is doing a very nice raid. So very nicely done. Um, Fredinovich should go for fletching at least to give his TC more and more range. This is very important. Um, but yeah, he could quite a good number of villages. And for peace, now go with a C12 job, which I like because this uh, immediately. Um, amplifies the, the aggression of, uh, of him because the TC will at some point just die, just no way. Maybe it's too early to pull back all your villages, but of course um, he's also busy um, with raiding. So we see some ballsy villagers of raiding, um, but he has. Done lots raiding with food piece. I like it. He might be. I mean, he's losing maybe too much, but anyway, he, he killed a lot. And now it's even. Even. Uh, the village of uh, 
repairing this TC. Uh, as I said, fletching makes sense this move because then you can reach this this uh, mangonel. Uh, but anyway, he's going for his defensive mangonel, um, which I like a lot because. Uh, if it's not killed, <laughs> it's one shot by the cookies and was they uh, do a lot of work there. Never looks also good against Siege, but the number is not big enough there. Uh, yeah, go for Fletching Freddy. Please go for Freddy. Uh, Fletching. Um, but anyway, maybe this Mamelux at some point will. Nam. Just kill these six villagers. We will see. What are these two okay. villagers doing? Why are they not building a TC? Um, Freddy now in a big Exodus mode. Um, he might feel that this is very much ahead, but he is now in privacy regarding economy. If he is just um, going for some herbs, maybe that? to counter the conquistadors. He's doing the right thing to maybe go for Megadon's just with villagers because the Kongs are here. And uh, Freddy is calling the GG. He's not staying as long in the game as Footbeast does. Uh, which I like because he knows that he has two more games to play and he, he already f won the first game. So it's dead even right now. And, uh, but anyway. Good choices by both of the player. Good uh, strategy by Freddy, um, going for the archery range in combination with the market. Maybe, maybe he should have gone for crossbowman in masses. Um, maybe this would have been the stronger move there. Um, I'm not sure. Of course, I, I cannot blame him. Um, a forward castle is usually uh, the right choice, but with crossbowman you could have killed food piece because he uh, usually is going for the castle drop, so not producing any military units. Um, Freddy was first to castle um, and even had some archers already, so massing the archers and the crossbowman then would have given him the chance to first of all deny the castle of food piece and then chase the whole economy down but anyway it was a nice game thank you for watching and see you in the third game